Hi class, welcome back for another story. Today's story is called Too Many Carrots. That does look like too many carrots, doesn't it? Do you like carrots? I do. Rabbit loved carrots. He collected them wherever he went. Rabbit was proud of his collection and burrowed it away in his cozy hole. But Rabbit had a problem, a big problem. Look at that, it's way too full. He couldn't sleep. Look at that. Does that look comfortable to you? Ugh. His cozy hole was too crowded to live in. I need a place to sleep, Rabbit told Tortoise. You can share my house, Tortoise offered. It looks cozy and snug. They live in their own shell, look at him, he's gonna get in there. Maybe it's a little too snug for two, suggested Tortoise. Not at all, said Rabbit. Uh-oh. Oh, dear. Ouch. Ah! Crash. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Well, perhaps we can stay in Bird's nest, said Rabbit. My nest is quite small, Rabbit, said Bird. I'm sure we will fit, replied Rabbit. Rabbit hauled all his carrots up the tree. Whoa, groaned Tortoise and Bird as the branch wobbled and swayed and snapped. Crash, I'm so sorry, Bird. Now three of us don't have a place to sleep, said Rabbit. You can sleep in my house, offered Squirrel. Oh, thank you, Squirrel. How kind of you, said Rabbit. I don't think any more carrots will fit, Rabbit, said Squirrel. Look at him, he's trying to fill it with carrots. Just a few more, Rabbit replied. Uh-oh, whimpered Tortoise, Bird, and Squirrel. Creak, crack, crash! Now four of us don't have anywhere to sleep, grumbled Squirrel. You can sleep at my house, called Beaver. It has plenty of space. Great, I can bring even more carrots, Rabbit said with a smile. But with all your carrots, we can't fit inside, said Beaver, a bit bewildered. Just then the rain started. Tortoise shivered, bird whimpered, squirrel squeaked. And Beaver heard a terrible rumble as his house collapsed. Oh no, my house, yelled Beaver. Oh no, my carrots, cried Rabbit. Ah! The friends groaned as they swept up onto the riverbank. Oh no. Rabbit felt terrible. His friends were cold, tired, and homeless. And it was all his fault. Even worse, Rabbit still had all of his carrots and his house. And that's when he realized there was only one thing to do. Share everything with his friends, after all. Carrots weren't for collecting, they were for sharing. Look at all that. Can you see all the different things they made with the carrots? It looks like they have a carrot cake, some sort of a carrot dessert here, like a carrot juice, some carrot cupcakes, carrot soup, all sorts of carrot yummy foods. And sharing made everything better. The end. All right, I want you to write your opinion today. Write about, do you like carrots? Yes or no? But don't stop there. Explain why you like carrots or don't like carrots. Thanks for coming for a story today. I'll see you guys tomorrow for another one. I love you. Bye.